Hi everybody, welcome to Storytellers of Mallorca. Another wonderful guest with us today, Philip Dews, um, and we'll be uh, talking with him in a moment. But before we start, I'd like to have a big uh, hi and thank you to my sponsor, Shear, at webdesignshare.com. So thank you very much again for all the work that you do. Kia ora, Philippe. Kia ora, Jimmy. It's good to, good to be with you, good to be here. It's slightly different settings than we're used to. No, no, yeah, definitely a different setting. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks for the invite and uh, welcome. To, yeah, thank you, thank right. you. So we're interested in your story about how you came to be here in Mallorca. So, uh, once again, thanks for, for the invite and um, letting me be part of this uh, adventure that you're on at the moment. Thank you. Um, so, coming to Mallorca... Um, so before living in Mallorca, uh, we lived in London. Mm -hmm. uh, so we lived in London for 13 years. Okay. So for those that have lived in a big city before, you know, it, it's, it's very different to living in Mallorca, Ibiza, Portugal, other destinations. Sure. Uh, life is very busy. Yep. In London, you spend half your day in public transport, yep. uh, three hours a day, two to three hours a day, getting to work, coming home from work. Yes. Yeah. You go to work in the dark, you come home in the dark. Yeah. Um, there's no work-life balance sure. as such. So we were looking at destinations where we could potentially live mm -hmm. and relocate. One of those destinations was actually Perth, Australia. Okay. So uh, I applied for jobs there and was accepted. Uh, yep. So we had an option there to go to Perth, but we also loved Mallorca. So we had been here before in the past, um, fell in love with it, and we're also looking at moving here as, a, as an option as well. Right. So we <coughs> decided, because on paper, Mallorca 200 plus beaches, mm -hmm. you have the mountains, yep. you have 300 days of sunshine, yeah. average temperature is 22 degrees. What's not like yeah. to like, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So for us, uh, we decided to fly out here uh, to see if we could, could live here yep. uh, and if it felt right for us. Right. So we flew here, as soon as we landed, it felt right to us. Um, we came to look for an apartment. Um, we managed to find one pretty much straight away. Yep. Um, Yolanta, obviously my, my wife, uh, she was offered a job as well. Um, so basically the universe was telling us that this is the place where we were going to be and, and um, yeah. yeah. So then we went back to the UK, mm -hmm. gave notice for our jobs and then uh, we drove here okay. from the UK with our car full of all our belongings yeah, and your life plants yeah, and I yeah. uh, had a big plant next to me <laughs> where the brake is and yeah. uh, and um, so we drove here and then basically Yolanta started work on the Monday mm -hmm. and then I started to look for a job as well right um, and then one thing led to another and sure. six years later here we are Yep. Um, and we wouldn't live anywhere else. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. When you were looking at the other places around the, the world, and you said you're into Perth and Australia, slightly different than, than the Yorker lifestyle, yes. were you looking at other places around Europe as well at that time, or, or did New Yorker just sort of call to you? Uh, I, think, I think the universe was pushing us in the direction of Mallorca. Yeah. Um, like I said, um, Mallorca has so much to offer mm -hmm. besides the, the, the beaches, the mountains. Yeah. Um, you also have to look at what you would do outside of work yes. in your spare time, free time. Yeah. And Mallorca has so much to offer. If you have a hobby, there is a group of people that also do that same hobby. Um, if it's sports or educational or you know intellectual something, mm -hmm. there is a group. Sure. And then you can meet and grow with that particular group of people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, lots to offer in Mallorca compared to other locations. Um, Mallorca is a good base, a good hub. Basically, within Europe, it only takes two hours and you're within a major city yes. destination. Yeah. 
so it's a good base yeah. if you like to travel. Um, now we have direct flights to the US mm -hmm. in summertime. Uh, we have direct flights to North Africa. Um, so yeah, it's a great yeah. place yeah. to be. And, and you're right, yeah, you're two hours, two and a half hours away from most places of Europe and North yeah. Africa and things as well. Correct. And then you've got your main, uh, the main cities of, of Spain, of, of Madrid and Barcelona, where you can connect to yeah. anywhere. 40 minutes. Uh, the flight time to either one of those locations yeah. and then from there you pretty much have flights everywhere yes yeah. um, and uh, I travel a lot and so I know those airports quite well yes um, so yeah it's easy to travel sure, sure so sure. besides the the nature the environment your your uh, activities you can also travel basically in Europe yeah um, yeah. Easy. It, it is. It's not only the flights or either. Is it the uh, you know the ferry, you know going back across to the mainland and to France Correct. as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We so have it's options. Options. Plus, options. it's close to Ibiza and Menorca. Yes. Twenty minutes to Ibiza. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Flying time two hours in the ferry. Yeah. Likewise to Menorca. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing yeah. islands as well. Yes. Very different but good to get out yeah. and about and have a look at those two places as well. Sure. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, we know, we've known each other for, for quite a while here, and I suppose rugby in one of the local, one of our local cafes, restaurants, is where we used to meet all the time. Yes. But um, Philippe is, a, is a, a fellow New Zealander, and uh, we're both, so I'm supporting my Toanga, and uh, you, yours as well. Um, from here, I mean, New Zealand is pretty much uh, the furthest you can get. Correct. And even getting home on a semi-regular basis is not too much of a challenge, really, is it? Uh, no. Um, I kind of left New Zealand when I was very young, mm -hmm. um, so I'm used to travelling and seeing the world. Um, but home is never too far away from our thoughts. Yeah. Uh, it's part of our culture, um, and uh, it's good to get home. Yes. Uh, hopefully I'll get home this year yeah. as well for another trip yeah. um, but then likewise parents come here as well sure. um, which is beneficial yeah. but to get home for us from here is around 33 hours yeah. Yeah. flight time either through Qatar mm -hmm. or back to London yeah. by LA back to New Zealand yeah. so yeah and when we're over here because we're doing it on a regular basis we get into that mindset, and the people that are listening, 33 hours, I think, oh my gosh, you know, that's a day and a half almost. But when you get into the routine of being on the plane, you know, you watch a movie or two, you eat, you sleep, you do that two or three times, yep. and you're there. Yeah. You know, it's, no, it's, time goes quickly, mm. but you're full of uh, emotions and adrenaline. Sure. So you just want to get home. Yeah. Yeah. see your family or your loved ones yes so the actual idea of 33 hours goes out the door yeah. based on what's gonna be at the other end yeah. when I meet yeah. you yeah. Yeah. Um, the only disappointing part if there was one is when you leave yes very hard yeah. because we're so far away yeah um, so great to be there yeah. adrenaline's pumping but that last day can be a little bit rough yeah. and that last few moments at the airport coming home yeah. because of that distance. Yes. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, human emotion yes. plays a part yeah. of it. It so. comes in there, and especially you know, because you uh, as well are, are very spiritual, yeah. very connected to, to, to the to spirit, to, to earth, Mother Earth, Gaia, Pachamama, everyone, and uh, all the energies that have around us here that can affect you maybe a little bit more than other people. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. Mm -hmm. um, aware of all those things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it probably affects me a little bit more than others yeah. and aware of it as well. Um, but there's so much reward from that. Yes. So, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's very good. Yeah, no, for, for sure. I mean, it's all nice and it all sounds good, but what were your struggles? What have been your, your, your trials and tribulations being here? So... I guess everyone, it, it, the need to move here is an individual one. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in a different situation, different stage in life, different chapters, different journeys. Yeah. For us, it was to find the balance between work and lifestyle, mm -hmm. which we couldn't do in London. So then the struggle would be, what happens if it doesn't work out? 
Yes. It goes for anybody who's planning or thinking of moving to a, not just Mallorca, but maybe somewhere else. What happens if it doesn't work out? Yeah. What's our fallback? Mm -hmm. Financially, are we able to um, handle everything and pay for everything because Mallorca is quite expensive? Yeah. If you want to rent, you need a lot of money, deposit, all of those things, cost of living, and then also how are we going to pay for everything without jobs? Sure. So all of those factors were at the initial part of mm -hmm. what we were planning on doing. Um, so that would potentially could be a struggle for other people yeah. um, because then if it doesn't work out, what do you do? What's your go-to? How yes. do you fall back and yeah. where do you go to? Yeah. Um, so luckily for us, we, we kind of already thought about that a long time ago. So yeah. we were in a, a, a good situation where if things didn't work out, mm -hmm. we would be okay for a year. Right. And then we would go back to London right. because we have our, our, our apartment there. Yeah. We could go back and then find yes. new jobs and carry on. Yeah. So the struggle may not necessarily be a physical one, but more of a mental one sure. as well because uh, my job in London, I was a very senior person in my job role. So then the thought of going, f achieving everything that I've done mm -hmm. and I'm up here. Yes. And then just coming back down to, to the beginning basement yeah. Yeah. Um, was potentially a struggle at first. But then I thought, well, you know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be and things will work and progress from there. Yeah. So then I was okay to leave my current job role yeah. and just start fresh at the bottom sure. um, and, and um, take it from there. Yeah. Um, so you have that as a struggle. And then the other struggle could be, okay, so which part of the island do we want to live? Okay, what, what are we looking for? What, what is it that makes us um, enjoy mm -hmm. um, our, our lifestyle? So obviously we are both from cities by the sea so we wanted to be by the sea. Yeah. We'd missed it being in London. Uh, nature as well. Mm -hmm. um, so spoke to a few friends and they kind of recommended this part of Mallorca, you know, St. Augustine, Calvio, um, Palmanova in between. Um, so potentially that could be a struggle if you don't do your research yes. yeah. before yeah. you take the move and come here. Yeah. Um, so suggestion that you do come out, look at the potential areas of where you want to live. Yeah. Um, if you can, maybe in winter as well, because in winter, everything shuts, yeah. especially in the north and the east. If you wanted to move there and you go there in summer, it's very busy, lots of tourists, lots of yeah. people, but then in winter it's closed. Yeah. Yeah. So that may not be what you're looking for. Sure. So that could be a struggle yeah. for some, yeah. uh, for us, touch wood. The perfect location, St. Augustine, as you said, Mojo's. Yeah. Uh, the beaches, 15 minutes to Palma, 15, 20 minutes to yeah. Palma Nova for yeah. shopping. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are two big struggles potentially people might experience. Sure. Um, it's that mental well-being mm -hmm. of maybe, what am I going to do for a job? Yeah. And having a job before you get here. Location and where you want to move to. Um, because you want to integrate at the same time. Yeah. And also potentially another struggle is the language. Mm -hmm. um, we're quite lucky in Calvia, everyone speaks English. Yeah. You don't even need to speak Spanish to get by. No. But you've made a conscious decision to move to a, a foreign country. Yeah. Um, so it's only right that you learn Spanish and mm -hmm. the cultural Mallorca culture basically yeah. and Spanish culture yes. yeah. um, so you can integrate and relate to local people yeah and then that's a that's quite a big thing because the, the Spanish culture um, and I've mentioned before is is different than other parts of Europe yes it really is it's a you know the, the manana mentality where they will put things bureaucracy up. of of documentation yes, yeah 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 which can be a challenge for, for many people if you're doing it by yourself or even if you're paying somebody to to help with that, yeah, yeah, it's still just if you can afford it, just pay someone to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's less headache for for everybody. Yeah, um, yeah. but if you're a fluent Spanish speaker mm -hmm. and you're comfortable with all the websites and everything, then by all means you can do yeah. it yourself. But yeah. 
I think the cost of getting someone to do it for you is yeah. is not not too bad. No, so. no, that weighs the, the the frustrations that can happen when you're in a, in a, in a new country. Yeah, and uh, we all experience the bureaucracy of yeah. Spanish uh, documentation and yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, and it's there for a reason, and, and it's it's has its place. And I've got by with this way of working for a long time. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, we need to adapt to cultural way of doing things. Yeah. May not agree with all of it from time sure. to time, but sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. we have no sure. choice but to uh, work with it. No. Um, and yeah. Um, yeah, but easier just to get someone to do all the. Yeah. The documentation for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Was there ever a time you didn't want to be here, or that's never really came about? No. So originally, when we came, we we were thinking, okay, if it doesn't work out after one year, then we can always go back to the UK. Mm -hmm. um, and after a couple of years, we realised, okay, we want to stay here. Yeah. Covid struck, so then that affected everybody. Um, for some reason we were quite lucky and someone wanted to buy our apartment okay. back in London during COVID yeah. so it worked out for us um, so then we thought okay we're going to make a lifelong decision mm -hmm. and so we will purchase here as well yeah. um, so that's what we did yes. and yeah. um, so we're committed here um, and uh, won't be going anywhere else. Yeah, no, no, this is home. No, no. This is, this is, this is home for now anyway. And yeah, this, no, this, no. This chapter of your journey. It, it was done. It's a good base. Yeah. So if you're someone who travels for work, mm -hmm. um, like I think my neighbor here, he's actually Nigerian. Mm -hmm. So he travels to Nigeria, okay. but based here. Okay. A few of my other friends also travel a lot, but it's a good base. Yeah. Um, and like I said before, you know, we have so many things here to do the sun yes. beach yeah. weather yeah. groups friends yes um it's you don't get it anywhere else no and in, in in europe no. no um so yeah home is here throw in a few activities here and there and yeah. social things and yeah. um yeah was it was it difficult for you to to meet people or, or make friends here so before our we left the UK. I was looking to play rugby. Okay. So in Mallorca, we have uh, we have five teams here. Um, so I reached out to them via email. One of them responded. Um, Shamrock, the, the the bar in Palma. Mm -hmm. um, so literally, we arrived on uh, a Sunday, yeah. and then the following weekend, I was travelling by ferry to the mainland with. 80 players <laughs> from little kids to seniors okay so within a week yeah. i've just made 80 friends yes, yeah. local spanish yeah. argentinian friends yeah. in one week yeah. because of rugby yeah. so i got to learn uh, a lot of things within that boat trip sure. um, and um, made new friends and mm. engaged with lots of new people so i was very fortunate yeah. that within a week i already had 80 local Spanish Argentinian people yeah. who uh, I was building a relationship with yeah, no. um, yeah. And, that, and that sort of that sort of situation I mean it it sort of um, helps you to be aware of yes this this is right this is comfortable for me to be here because I can make so many friends within a week you know let alone a month or more I mean that feeling must have been good inside yeah yeah. Everyone's so welcoming, yeah. um, and it, it's it was a good feeling, of course, yes. uh, because obviously it's the unknown yeah. that makes you a little bit worried or scared or okay, fine, you know, I don't have a job. We we came without jobs, so we decided to, like I said, we came without jobs. Yeah. Once we were here, we were going to find jobs. Yolanta already had a job, um, and um, so that's one part of the mind that was kind of settled. I had my sports, I had my rugby, I've yeah. got local friends. Yeah. And then from there it branches out. Yeah. You meet new people, you socialise and yeah. yeah. So yeah. And we've we've talked about it before with some other guests and that as well, is that when you do try to blend into the community, you try you you're attempting the language, you're making an effort that 
they change. You're not just somebody who's arrived here and just staying in the sun for a week and then going. But the locals really um, go out of their way to help mm -hmm. in so many ways. Yep, agree with that statement. Um, you have to. Mm. You know, you've made a choice to live in a foreign country that's not your own. Yep. Uh, you've decided to become a resident. Yep. So you should learn the language and you yep. should get involved and engage as much as you can. Um, and they will appreciate the effort mm -hmm. that you've done to try and integrate. Um, and Mallorca is very multicultural, not just with Spanish, but you have uh, other Spanish nationalities here as well. So at the same time, you're learning um, the Spanish, but also Argentinian culture yes. or South American culture yeah, at the same yeah, time. So. Yeah. And of course, the beauty with the Spanish language is you can travel to so many parts of the world, you know, through through the Americas, you know, North and South, um, and so many people understand the, the Spanish language as well as the English language. So yeah. you can go a long way with that. Yeah, comes in very handy. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Good, good. And what do you? What? But you, there's a lot of things there. Was there other areas that you love about being here? So, uh, I think it's the well, it's the nature. Yeah. So you know, we're quite lucky. We live in a very nice location. Yeah. You know, five minutes to the beach mm -hmm. with the, with the dogs. Yeah. Um, but we're 20 minutes to the mountains. Yes. So, and in the mountains, there's absolutely no noise. Yeah. It's quiet, yeah. peaceful. Um, and if you're working quite busy, mm -hmm. uh, it's good that you've got options to go somewhere where it's yeah. nice and quiet and, yeah. and be with nature and um, gain the energy from that, mm. um, refreshes you. Um, so, the environment, I think, in Mallorca is perfect. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit too hot in July and yeah. August yes, yeah, last year yeah. and probably this year. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, compared to other places in Europe, sure. it's, it's sure. a great place to yeah. be. Yeah, and everybody likes to come here on their, on their holiday and that sort of thing. And exactly. You know. So on our days off from working, what do we do? We go to the beach, sure. we go to the bar, go to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. What do people do on holidays? Yeah. Go to the beach, go to the bars, go to the restaurants. Yeah, it's yeah. just that we live it yes. all year round yeah. Yeah. and uh, tourists pay for it. Yeah, 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 for so. sure. And of course, you know, 20 minutes to the mountains, but looking at your windows here now, you've got bush all around. You've got the, you know, the swifts flying by, the hawks and everything here. You've got walks right from your doorstep and you've got a view of the sea as well. Yes. I mean, you know, you've, you've got yep. everything. No, yeah. no, I'm very lucky. So that's the big contrast between um, city living and uh, living in places like Mallorca mm -hmm. or other islands. Um, it's, it's finding the, the balance yep. between working, but also enjoying your life uh, outside of work yes. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the key. Yeah. And I think Mallorca tick box most things that people are looking for. Sure. sure. So. Do you think there's anything unique about your story? about being here in Mallorca, or is it um, common in a way that people can do what you have done to be here? I think, like I said at the beginning, I think everyone's desire to live in a Mallorca yeah. or another island is a personal choice. So you need to evaluate at what stage in life are you at, mm -hmm. and what is it that you're looking for, and does Mallorca cover all those things? Yeah. Um, so I think um, that's kind of like the biggest challenge mm -hmm. um, for, for yourself. Oh, actually, say the question again. Yeah, I was just about living here, about your story. Do you, ah, do you feel, you know, that it was... So and my story, if it's unique. Yeah. I think, uh, I think all stories are unique to the individuals mm -hmm. or, or the couples, the individuals. Um, I think in our case, it's unique that basically we uh, decided to up and leave uh, a very good situation that we're in in London mm -hmm. um, and take a risk to move outside of uh, the UK yeah. to a non-English country um, to start like a whole new life, yeah. a brand new life. Yeah. Um, so that's very unique 
to to people because that's a big risk. Sure. Not everyone can take that risk. Yeah. Also, we we you know we drove here, have English car. We don't know anyone. Mm -hmm. Make friends. Yeah. You know, for some people that's quite scary as well. Sure. Trying to make friends, engage with locals and things. Yeah. Um, and then the third part, obviously, is to find jobs. Sure. So we came without jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming other other people mm -hmm. um, also have done that, but also others have got jobs lined up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so again, as for us, mm. you know, unique. We've always had jobs. There hasn't been a time in our lives where we haven't not had a job. Sure. So that was a risk, um, and again, unique for us. Yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah. Mm. And diet? Have we found the food here? Food? Uh, good. <laughs> um, I travel a lot. Yeah. So when I travel to Portugal, mm -hmm. Canary Islands, yeah. Malaga, I love it because of all the fish right. options. Sure, sure, sure. They have so many fish options. Yeah. Unfortunately, here in Mallorca, we don't have too many fish. Yeah. Um, and if we do have fish, it's quite expensive. Yeah. Uh, we're in the Canary Islands, Malaga or, or Portugal. Uh, it's everywhere. Yeah. So I wish we would have more fish options. Um, but in regards to healthy living, mm -hmm. sunshine, healthy living, I think it goes hand in hand. Yes. You've yeah. got lots of um, fresh food, organic food, yeah. healthy food. You can find the right shops that sell it, um, and it's not too far away. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that yeah. sense, yeah. fantastic, yeah. great. Uh, just wish there'd be more fish options. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Mediterranean, which is a bit of a shame how how fished out it has been over the years. But um, you know, it, it's uh, it's where we are. But we can't have everything. Yeah, it's, it's no, one, no. one thing from there, and especially coming from New Zealand, where a lot of our diet has been fish. Yeah, in the past, it's just a shame. It's, but when I travel, I always have fish. But just yeah. a shame we don't have um, the options here yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and the quality. But yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, but vegetables and everything else are very, very good. Yeah, so. oh, good, good, good. Is there anything else you'd like to share with people um, that may be of interest to them at this stage? Or you um, that pretty much wraps it up. The <laughs> I think. I think when people are looking to move to Mallorca, they need to understand what is it that attracts them to the island. Mm -hmm. What are they searching for? Yeah. They want to change their lifestyle. Yeah. Do they, they're looking to start fresh? Um, or are they a young family mm -hmm. looking to move here? Yeah. The opportunities for, for children is, is really, really good. And if they're actually good in sports, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at Spain as a country, for the Olympics, the individual sport athletes, mm -hmm. quite a few of them come from Mallorca. Right. In the individual sports, yeah. not in the team sports. Sure. So there is opportunity for young children yeah. to develop and grow in yes. individual sports here. Yes. Yeah. You have good academies, you've got good schooling, yeah. you've yeah. got English schooling, French schooling, Catalan, Spanish. Yeah. Um, so for young family growing up, I think Mallorca can be a great place to live. Um, for nomads, I think it's also a fantastic place to live if yes. you can get the nomad visa. Yep. Base yourself here. You know, you've got cafes in Palma where you can socialize with other nomads. Um, but you've got, you know, you find a very nice finca. Yes. Work from there. Yep. Fantastic. Yep. Um, so the island has so much to offer and give. You just need to understand it a little bit more and what you're looking for and what yes. location yeah. and what group, social group of people yeah. I can yeah. work with. Yeah. And there's no shortage of people offering advice either. No, you no. Know, wherever you come from and whatever passport that you have, yeah, there are ways around. Yeah, there are, you know, I have a question as a must group to join. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to help you find people or information. Mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, there's so many groups of people. You'll be able to find people that are like-minded like yourself. Yeah. And then from there, you just grow and expand. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah, 
opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Cool. All right. Wow. Well, thanks for your story. That, that's uh, that's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that, and thanks everyone for listening in um, to this uh, storytellers of Mallorca. A quick shout out to Share again, who's uh, helped me with the website and uh, sponsoring and supporting me on that side of things. Um, only hit it once, but like, share, and comment down below. That'd be fantastic. Um, Philippe, thank you. Kira. Great to have you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening in, and we'll catch up with you all soon. Bye for now.